And our last lab here in module two, lab 2-5, SDM one step lockdown and the security audit. Uh, first of all, we're on the security audit. See what uh, choices you have available to you at the conclusion of running the security audit, uh, as well as saving a copy of the security audit, maybe to forward to someone else and say, here's our vulnerabilities, what do you wanna fix? Um, from there, we're gonna jump in and run the one step lockdown. Uh, and then jump in through command line and make sure that you can recognize the changes that have been made to your running configuration. Here in lab 2-5, uh, we're going to lock down, just enhance the security, harden our router. Uh, first of all, uh, we're going to, in task one, perform a security audit. And before we even perform the audit itself, they want us to save a copy of our configuration. Uh, that's gonna be done from file, save running config to PC. We can save it right to the desktop. And that's the default file name, stmconfig.txt that they wanted us to save it as. So we'll just save that directly to the desktop. And that's already done. If we wanted to verify that it's there, there we go, stmconfig.txt. And uh, again, those of you that already have experience, we can take this configuration and we could paste it right back into this router. Everything including the hashed passwords would be accepted. We'd be right back where we started. Okay, now specifically here under uh, step two for task one, go back to uh, SDM. To run the security audit, it's gonna be configure and security audit. And we have two different things that we can do. Uh, remember there was the security audit itself and then also the one step lockdown. We'll look at the one step lockdown in task four. So let's go ahead and click on perform security audit. Now as part of this, in this wizard, one of the things that we're gonna to have to do is specify which interfaces are gonna be inside and outside so that it can recommend the best method to uh, secure your device. In our configuration, our trusted or inside interface is going to be fast ethernet zero slash zero, and we're gonna uh, specify serial 030, our 192 network, as being our untrusted or outside interface. So we'll go ahead and click on next, and it's going to uh, run this wizard and come back with, once again, some results that are going to be uh, items that have passed, as well as some things that have not passed. And we'll have the ability to fix these in a moment. The only thing that they're asking us to do in task two for lab 2-5 is to save a copy of our report. If I hit close, it's just gonna take us to the next step of the audit, which is to present the option of fixing some of the things that it's identified as uh, failures or opportunities to harden the security of the device. Well, let's go ahead and save a copy of this report to the desktop. Uh, they wanted us to create a folder for it. So security audit. And we'll go ahead and save this into that folder. If we wanted to verify it, security audit and here we go and this is what it's going to look like so router name information about our ios image the host name of the router and we get all the specifics in terms of what has passed and not passed so if you were just the one that was asked to run the security audit and they just wanted the results you can hand it to someone else and they could essentially just mark here's the pieces that we want to resolve and you could go ahead and come back and take care of that at a later date oops i just want to close that one Okay, so there's our security audit. In task three, we're going to select a couple of items that we want to fix. Let's close the uh, results here. And now we have the choice of deciding what it is that we specifically want to fix. They wanted me to go ahead and click next without fixing anything. And notice that we get, uh, they want you to fix at least something, otherwise just cancel completely out of the results. So specifically, we're going to select Pad service enabled, so we'll go ahead and fix that. And IP source route, they wanted us to uh, hit that one as well. Where is that hiding? IP source route, it's currently enabled. We wanna fix that also. So now let's go ahead and click next. Quick summary on here's what they're gonna fix for us. We'll click on finish and now I can see the commands. I can see what uh, it's first of all specifying, it's adding some descriptions, uh, even though we haven't enabled the firewall functionality in this, um, it is going to put some descriptions, SDM does, on which interface is the outside versus the inside interface. But here you can see what they're going to do, and it's doing it globally. 
uh, disabling uh, pad as a service and also uh, disabling source routing so that those parameters for uh, source route cannot be, uh, it won't be honored uh, for any source routing that's uh, specified in an IP header. So let's uh, save this. We'll uh, deliver these commands to the router. And once we're done, we'll click on OK. In task four of lab 2-4, they simply want us to run the one-step lockdown. Rather than selecting which pieces I want to, uh, or which services perhaps I want to disable, uh, in this case, we're just going to go with the set of best practices. We'll click on one-step lockdown. Are you sure you want to lock it down? We'll click yes. Here's everything it's going to fix. Notice down here, all I can click is deliver. Once again, I can certainly save as part of this. A lot of commands. Notice this, it's 68 commands that we're sending to the router. So that'll take just a moment. We'll click on OK once it's done. Now, if this has already been done, if you were to come back later, go through one-step lockdown, at this point, it looks like it's doing the exact same thing. But notice down here at the bottom, the router is already secured. So we'll just click on close. Nothing else to configure. The last piece, which is task five, is just to uh, go into the device and execute a show run. So if I connect to the router, let's see, let's see if this is me. Nope, that's the core. There we go. Console port. One of the things to put in is a best uh, best practice is requiring AAA authentication in local database. So we're We've, we're back away from just being able to log in with just a password here in the console port of con user 2008. It's requiring a username password combination, local database. So let's see, we can probably go in with admin one and admin one 2008 as a password. And we're able to get logged in. If we wanted to get into privileged mode, still our same uh, secret password here of secret 2008. And they just wanted us to simply execute a show run. And with this running config, you could sit and evaluate what is the same, what has changed, uh, or, you know, specifically what commands did the uh, one-step lockdown put into the device. And you're going to see quite a few things underneath the interfaces, services that have been disabled. To further review in task five, the uh, configuration and the changes, refer to the answer key in the back of the lab book. There you'll see a highlight of the changes that have been made as a result of running the one-step lockdown.